Hello, my name is Monica McGillicuddy and I am from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle and I am going to bring you a look-see at what I have on my head. And, oh my gosh. I just feel this is such a cute, cute style. So, first of all, let me just introduce what you're going to see next. I had received this wig complimentary from Wig Studio One and I am reviewing it so you guys get to see it maybe on a different face shape, you know, or a different even way of maybe styling it, um, you know, because wigs look different on everybody. So I have a 22 inch circumference, I have a nine inch face, and a big forehead. So this wig that I have on is basically from Ellen Villa and this is called Scala Monopart in Light Bernstein Rooted 142627 from the Hair Power Collection of Ellen Villa. This is a heat friendly piece. Before I go into any more detail in my thoughts on this, I'm just gonna show you really quickly a short clip of me when I actually recorded, I was recording a video for my beauty channel and I had this on my head and at the very end of it I added a clip where I put it on and I showed everyone what it looked like. So you're gonna see me putting this on for the first time and then shaking my head up and you're gonna see it totally you know, unstyled. I wanted you to see how it looked directly out of the box on my face. So it's just a few minutes long, bear with me. So this is gonna just be a quick look-see at Ellen Villa's Scala, Scala. This is a heat-friendly, monopart, short wig. And this is in the color Light Bernstein, Bernstein Rooted. I received this complimentary from Wig Studio One. And this is something that I have had. I've got, I actually have two wigs, or had two wigs on my wish list. And, um, and this was one that I was just really curious about. This is a newer release from Ellen Villa. And I'm gonna show you the cap. This is a closed, closed wefted cap, really comfortable cap. The thing with, I think, these types of caps is they don't have as much stretch. So I've not put this on my head yet, um, but I have a 22 inch circumference. We will see how this fits. What I like about this is that you've got a lot of loose waves. I'm not too sure how this color is going to work for me. I have. I have two toppers in this color, and in the toppers, the color was perfect. And I have found that from piece to piece, you know, and I've mentioned this before in different wig manufacturers, that you can get the same shade and it can be slightly different or very different. So I'm going to put Scalar on my head and share it with you. There we go. I have no idea how this is going to look or fit. Pull it down, pull it up. Whoa! Woo hoo! Wow. I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling kind of like young and, um, Sassy, if that's the right way to describe it, with this. Holy moly. This is going to be one of those pieces that when I wear it, I won't be able to stop smiling because isn't she cute? So I was so surprised when I received this wig because I had watched a number of reviewers. I had looked at the stock pictures and and I was really afraid. I thought this would just be totally overwhelming and way, way too much. So this is Scala from Ellen Villa and this is what she calls on her website a very chic and modern wig. And I do believe that, you know, to me when I put this on, 
to me, this is a very relaxed, a very casual look. I just washed my hair. Maybe I fluffed it up and I'm running around doing things. So I really like this look. It kind of also reminds me of the way I used to have my hair. I'm going to do a spin for you because what you saw in the previous clip was right out of the box. I have worn this, wore it last night out in the wind. Uh, we went out to the beach. It was super windy. I wore it. Of course, the hair fluffs up in the wind, but it just really, it just really looks beautiful. It just really held up. Super, super nice. Heat friendly. So if you wanted to style it, if you wanted to take some of the waves down, maybe make curls, or if you were really good with a flat iron and you wanted to try to straighten it, you certainly could. You have to keep your heat, I believe, at like uh, 260 degrees, and I believe they recommend that it's damp when you, when you do do that. I personally have no interest in doing that. I, I wanted this wig because of the waves and because of the style. I was just hoping that it wasn't going to be totally overwhelming for me because I do prefer a more sleeker look. And this, I can fluff it up, obviously, but I can also sleek it out, which I, I can make it really sleek, which I really like. So heat-friendly synthetic fiber. You can style it, of course, with that heat brush or comb or flat iron, 260 degrees. It's short, relaxed, classic bob, wave style, and they say it gives you a very youthful and trendy look. Oh my gosh. I totally agree. I'm going to be 70 in February. I don't feel 70. I don't think I look 70, especially in this wig. This wig makes me, it brings me back to like maybe 20 years ago, right? I mean, that's how I'm feeling right now. Anyways, it has an extended lace front and it really gives you a natural hairline. So it's one of those really short, tiny lace fronts, but it is extended. And then it has a mono crown. It has the left side parting, more of a narrow. I'll show it to you when I turn it inside out. Yesterday, I wore this all day. Very, very comfortable. I have a 22 inch circumference. Ellen Villa says this is a petite to average. I thought it was really comfortable all day. I went out, I did a bunch of different things. The dimensions, the front is seven inches, which I have a nine inch, so the seven inches is spot on. The crown is nine, and the size is six and a half, and the nape is three and a half. So it has a bit of an extended nape, which I think is really nice, and the wig only weighs three ounces. So it's super lightweight, really nice. And if you take a look at this color, Burns, light Bernstein rooted, you can see a whole bunch of different dimensions in here in this shade. I'm going to superimpose some outside clips here so you can just get a better look at the natural light because I do think it, it may be pulling more shine and may be pulling more warmth in here with the lighting in here. I will also enclose, enclose a picture of me standing by my window in the kitchen. It's a cloudy day, not very much light, but you'll get to see what this looks like. So I absolutely love this. I'm gonna turn it inside out, show you the inside in a moment. So this is Scala in natural light. I'm just standing by my window. It's a cloudy day but I just wanted you to be able to see it. It is a warm color, but it's not pulling as much warmth in a natural light as it does in studio lights, if you want to call my light studio. Now here I am away from my window. I don't have any kind of a light, but I'm just standing in my dining room away from my window. Um, just so you can see. Okay, light Bernstein rooted, 1426-27. This is considered a medium ash blonde. So I'm gonna say ash blonde in this light, you're not seeing too much ash, but in the natural light, I do see some ash. It also has light golden blonde and dark strawberry blonde with shaded roots. I'm super happy with these roots because I've had some wigs that have come to me with shaded roots and I simply don't like them. You know, there's too much 
uh, too dark, the roots are too long, but this is like that perfect, very natural look, I think. So I'm going to take this off and show you the inside of the cap. Whew. And, and the lace front so that you can actually see it. So here's the lace front. It has an extended deeper lace front so that you can actually give it a little bit more of a parting in the front and you can go off center. You can go off, I shouldn't say center, but you can, you have some ability to maneuver the part. Now it is a very small lace front where the hair comes out, right? It's one of those tiny narrow ones. The knotting to me, I'm looking at is very fine. I'm not seeing anything at all. And it goes into a more of a narrow um, part monofilament here to the back. It has a closed cap, which I believe, and I'm not, um, I've got a few wigs that have closed caps, so I'm not really 100% positive, but I believe the closed caps fit snugger. So I wore this all day. It stayed put because I had a wig grip on, which is probably all man mangled up after taking it off. Um, it stayed put. It didn't move. It was super comfortable. Now up here, it's very, very cold and my head stayed nice and warm. So you've got the, the uh, Velcro extenders here so you could extend it out if you wanted. The ear tabs. I have it can feel a little bit of a stay in there which is good so you can you can contour it to your head and the hair goes right around and the lace front goes right to those ear tabs and then you've got a little bit of an extended nape and the velcro adjusters for size so wow so when you look at this right when i took it out of the box i was like going holy mackerel look at those curls and then i put it on and i was like Oh yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So I'm gonna in parting, I'm gonna just superimpose the a couple of outside shots. I'm really glad I got this color. I really like it a lot. So in closing, this was sent to me complimentary, so I could actually review it. This is something I have been wanting this wig. I've been wanting this style, and I am absolutely thrilled with it. So I just love it. So thank you so much, Wig Studio One. And if you guys are on the fence about this and you kind of thought maybe it was like, woof, too much hair, you can. You can spritz this with water. I haven't done anything yet. You can spritz it with water. You can style it. But you can make it and give it a more sleeker profile or you can put your fingers in and, um, and then you can feel like you're just, uh, you know, back in your younger days with wild and crazy hair. I love it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave me a comment, like the video. Let me know what you think of this wig. And if you have it, how do you like it? I think this is really nice. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.